you do anything with a certain intensity and involvement, it doesn't matter what, you don't have to do something particular. If you do it with absolute intensity, anything, instead of saying, ah, oh, we went through the whole science of arm, you leave the damn science, you just say boom, boom, boom. But with absolute intensity and involvement, even the boom will work, okay? No science is involved, but just the intensity. If you can just get your life into the highest possible pitch of intensity, you're there, okay? You can do it with anything. I don't know if you have heard of this, but it's very much there in the traditions. Many yogis were constantly angry, do you know that? Hmm? Not about anybody, simply angry. Now you have this understanding, a yogi means he must be. Yes? Like that. He must be a good man. Tell me, the first yogi, let's take the first yogi as an example. Shiva, can you call this guy a good man? Hmm? Can you call him a good man? Huh? <laughs> no, but just tell me by the stories that you have heard. See, after all it's the stories that we have heard from the Shiva Purana, isn't it? He is a great yogi, but he is a drunkard. Do you know? Shiva is a drunkard. He is a great householder. But mad debaucher, she is perfect awareness but a drug addict. All the gods worship him but his friends are all demented beings. Do you know this? So do you call this man a good man or a bad man? He's, he's neither a good man or a bad man but he's fantastic. <laughs> he's definitely not a good man. You can't call him a bad man, but he's terrific. You know what that means? That means you have to raise beyond your ideas of good and bad, like and dislike, and just become intense life. Life in its peak performance. So, we said if you just say Shiva, it will happen. Yes, because these sounds, I think we looked at this already, what a mantra is. Hmm? These sounds are like keys to another dimension of life. If you have gone through the necessary preparation, just one utterance of Shiva, I will have you exploding to a completely different level of energy and experience. You will see if you come to certain advanced programs, we have a, something called a Samyama, which is a eight-day meditation camp, now it is ten-day and uh, it's in total silence. Just one utterance, Shiva, people will just burst. They cannot contain themselves in the body. Just one word, just the sound. It is not because we called some god it happened, because it's a key sound. If you know how to use it, you can open up things that you have never imagined possible. So the word Shiva, is of tremendous power and significance. We gave, we gave that name to somebody who is closest to such a possibility. The first yogi, the Adi yogi. We called him Shiva because he is the closest to such a possibility where he will explode your shell and deliver you to a completely different dimension. These are unfortunately the problem is street-side spirituality, you know. 
everybody is talking spirituality. If you read a book, you can become spiritual. This is the danger, you know. Because of this, all kinds of things are happening. It is not because that's God's name. If God is everywhere, every damn thing, the sacred word and the abuse is also Him, isn't it? Yes? Yes or no? It is not a question of that something is sacred and something is not. The moment you make this discrimination that something is sacred and something is not, something is good and something is not, you're finished because you've divided the world. When you say, I want to turn spiritual, what you are saying is you want to become all-inclusive, yes? You want to transcend the limitations of the physical. Physical is exclusive. The more identified you are with the body, the more exclusive you are, isn't it? Physical is exclusive. That which is beyond the physical is all-inclusive. So when you say, I want to become spiritual, you are saying, I want to cross the limitations of the physical. That means you are saying, I want to become all-inclusive. If you want to all become all-inclusive, if you say, these people are not sacred, only these are sacred, can you include? You divided the world and you finished. This is a no-win situation. People are going on dividing the world in according to their terms of good and bad, okay and not okay, and they are hoping to be spiritual, it will never happen, it cannot happen. First stop the judgment. Responsibility, 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 why is? Now you don't see what is good and bad. Whatever comes in front of you, according to your intelligence, you respond to it as it is needed. Not because it's good, not because it's bad. According to your intelligence, whatever is the best thing to do at that moment, accordingly you respond. Whichever way you respond, whatever action you perform, there will be a consequence to it. Knowing this, you perform your action. Should I do the good things or bad things? You do whatever you want. All I want you to know is, whatever you do, there will be a consequence. When the consequence comes, if you are going to cry, then there is no point. If you can take any consequence joyfully, do whatever you please. But if you are made like this, if certain consequences come, you will break up. If it is so, you perform your action little more cautiously, that's all. It is not a question of good and bad. It is not a question of what is God and what is not. Always they told you, God is everywhere, isn't it? If God is everywhere, if he's in everything, Boom is also God's name, isn't it? Doom is also God's name, isn't it? <laughs> yes or no? So you don't know what's God's name. For more on Sadhguru, visit www.ishafoundation.org.